fractions and polynomials look like this. The numerator has more than one term. And what this means is that this numerator is all being divided by the denominator. Giant fractions can be tricky, especially when they have a minus sign before them, because you can make sign errors because of them. The minus sign will affect the entire fraction. I have a technique that makes it easy to avoid mistakes with giant fractions. You write the answer to the division in a bracket, and then remove the bracket as a separate step. In this question, we have 6x plus 3x squared minus 5x over x. I write 6x plus, and I put a bracket. And then I put the answer to the division inside the bracket. 3x squared divided by x is 3x. Minus 5x divided by x is minus 5. I remove the bracket as a separate step, but this time, because there was a plus sign before it, nothing is changing on the inside. And then I combine my similar terms and give my final answer. 6x plus 3x is 9x minus 5 is the answer. This was unnecessary because we had a plus sign before the bracket. But it will become necessary when we have a minus sign before the bracket, like we do in this example over here.